Tell us who you are and what you've made here. I'm Andrew Ionoscu. I'm making a reverb unit with the daisy seed. This algorithm that's flashed on right now is uh, what's known as a free verb algorithm. Okay. Uh, it's basically a schroeder more topology, and I'll just play a little bit. Okay. I have some, I have some audio signal going in, and this is the dry signal. Okay. And then with some reverb, This is a 100% reverb. Okay. There's so pause it so we can hear the tail. Oh yeah, uh, run it again and I want to hear the tail again. Nice. It's probably better with this song. Okay, let me hear it dry. Dry. Okay, and now what? All right. And let's see, you made this little board here for it? Right, so this was made at the Hive uh, on their PCB machine. That's the makerspace, okay. Right. Let me take a look at the bottom of the board here. Right. Okay, so that was all routed out. Okay, you blasted the background. I did. Which is important because otherwise you wind up with shorts everywhere. Right. With the laser zapper. And you've got these rotor, are these pots or? Oh, they're pots, right? So you're yeah. just reading these so you can adjust various things. Right, it's a 3.3 volt DC signal going into the pots and yeah, the pot can just okay. swipe between. Show me some more cool stuff. Okay, so uh, what I just shown you was free verb. Mm -hmm. There is also an FDN algorithm that I wrote. And what does FDN stand for? Feedback Delay Network. Sounds very different. Okay. You can hear the reflections a lot clearer, uh, which could be an undesirable effect, but reverbs all have their different kind of Right, it's different, yeah. different tools for different purposes. Right. A good source of experimentation. Right, so again, dry signal. <laughs> Um, yeah. Like so pause and let me hear the tail. Okay, so that one you can hear the flutter. You can hear fluttering. Yeah. But that's one of those things you could go in and tune different parameters in right. different ways. So this one is a four by four feedback delayed network. What is that matrix called? Uh, Hadamard matrix. Hadamard matrix, right. So for the system to be stable, you need it to be a unitary matrix. This is one of the many unitary matrices you can use. This implementation is Hadamard. I've also implemented Householder, which is a different unitary matrix. This FDN, the mm -hmm. feedback delay networks, they can be any number of delay lines. So this one has four delay lines and a four by four feedback matrix. Uh, you can have n number of delay lines and an n by n feedback matrix. More computation. More computation, more reflections, which is good because the fluttering is actually caused from these uh, not enough non-zero samples in the impulse response, like basically existing there. Okay. Uh, so if you have more non-zero samples there, you get more of a smear effect and uh, the all pass filters actually help with this. So this Mm -hmm. is actually an FDN with some series all-pass filters going on the output of the FDN. That basically gives it what's called a higher echo density. That's the purpose of the all-pass filters. It basically smears the sound, but the, like more smearing can happen if you have more comb filters and more all-pass filters. You can also get some very alien, otherworldly sounds, if I can show you real quick. Yeah, show me something so some, weird and freaky. This is, this is kind of weird. If you make the delay lines really long, you'll get something like this. And I'll turn the gain up so you can hear it. Okay. <laughs> so you get this really big reverb. And I, I've already stopped the music. It's been stopped right. for a couple seconds now. And it'll just like <laughs> ring out like this very like gigantic space uh, that you can't really find in the real world. You can, but you'd have to get in a really, really big tunnel. But it's just fun seeing the unrealistic rooms that you can create with this reverb. 
and that's kind of the appeal of algorithmic reverbs over convolution mm -hmm. reverbs you know convolution reverbs those are very realistic because it's the impulse response from a real room but this can generate an impulse response very otherworldly and at your fingertips by adjusting some knobs do you have any plans to put this on github or something like that yeah, would you so, like people to be able to experiment with it maybe make their own one of these yeah i haven't made the repository yet but i will soon so if you want to put that in the description that would be good yeah whenever um, you get that up i'll add that to the description below yeah and i'll also go ahead and record some like audio samples of uh, both of the reverbs and try to make it um try to make the variables as equal to each other as possible such that a comparison, a direct comparison can be made. Obviously, there's a lot of differences between the two implementations. Free verb implementation uses eight comb filters and four all pass filters. This one uses eight comb filters in the FDN topology and then four all pass filters after that. So yeah, very different sound. Okay, this is fantastic. Thank you very much.